The knowledge to build a proper signal fire is one of those survival skills that makes the difference between life and death. You can't just throw logs on a pile and expect them to magically burn when you need them the most. It all starts with building a fire platform. We've got to get the fire up off of this snow. So we want our platform to be a solid foot off the ground or so. We want it to just suck the air. On top of this platform, we're gonna continue to build the walls of our log cabin. We're gonna create a structure in which to contain all of our really flammable goods. See this huge cavity we've created here? It's really important because it's inside of that that we're gonna put all of our dry material. We're gonna start with all of our dry kindling, the best we stuff we can find on the bottom of this cavity. A signal fire isn't like a warming fire. We don't care about warmth here. All we care is that this sucker lights up and lights up fast. Now that we've got the cavity of this log cabin completely full of our small stuff, it's time to start putting on some bigger pieces. So here's the kicker. We need this fire to produce some seriously black smoke and that's where this tire comes in. Without it, it's just white smoke that's gonna quickly dissipate and you're never gonna see it a thousand feet up in the air. But here's a little known fact. Be sure to let the air out of the tire before you light this baby on fire because these tend to explode in the full of air. So the last thing you need is a piece of shrapnel or a valve stem to the face. Oftentimes it's necessary to build a signal fire in a clearing far away from base camp. And if you do that, you're gonna to have to have a way to carry fire. And the key to carrying fire is a torch. But you first gotta find a pine tree or a spruce tree, like this one right here. Pine and spruce produce a resin that is highly flammable. You can see here where this tree's injured, all this resin is oozed out, producing these little dry, crusty sap nodules like this right here. We're gonna take a, a stick like this one. It could be live or dead, it doesn't matter. We're gonna split the ends, and then we're gonna spread those ends by wedging in little sticks. We want it to look a little bit messy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the driest tinder we can find. This is just a shredded bark. I'm gonna wedge that down in to these cracks. And all in that tinder, I'm gonna pack some of these resin nodules. When I light this torch, this resin is gonna melt and ooze all over this tinder. And I'm gonna be able to run with this torch. It's gonna burn like crazy, and I'm not gonna be able to easily put it out. From the time you hear sounds from rescue crews, you may only have a few seconds to get your signal fire lit. And once this torch is lit, you'd better be ready to run. 